Hi everyone, I'm going to show you a real easy way today to test your LEDs that you might have floating around or in your electronics box. And instead of trying to take two AA batteries to hook them up and touch it real quick before the LED burns out, there's a much easier way. Yeah, most people aren't going to recognize that. It says right on it, lithium battery. Inside, it's just a little holder. It's one of those little watch cells. Like this one's a uh, CR2025. But CR2032, there's a ton of different model numbers. Any of them you can use to safely test an LED without blowing it, without having a resistor in, because these uh, batteries cannot put out that much current. Now that stands true for like white or blue LEDs that usually need at least three volts to run. The lower voltage LEDs like green, amber, red, you can plug them in for a few seconds. Just make sure the LED works, pull back out. You're not going to do any damage to the LED. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, another good reason for why you would want to use this to test your LEDs is if you got like a little scrap pack like I do here on different resistors and LEDs and transistors and stuff like that. See I have five millimeter LEDs sitting here and then I also have three millimeter LEDs sitting here. And the problem is they're all clear tops so I don't know if this is white or blue or ultraviolet or infrared or anything like that. It's just a clear LED at this point. So that's why this is also good to have testing real quick. So I can just plug it in and see it's basically an off-white LED. It's great for testing them. Now if I grab one of the little three millimeter LEDs, once I get them unstuck, test them real quick, find out, oh, once I get a good connection, these are bright blue LEDs. Then, if you're like me and you go rummaging through the trash every once in a while, you get an LED like this. It's a flat top, but it also has a little black spot inside there too. Looks like a little microchip. I got this LED out of an old solar garden light from the Jersey Shore area. And everything was corroded inside of it, even the solar panel. The little uh, amorphous solar panel was corroded, the circuit board inside it was corroded, the battery terminals were completely shot. This is the only thing I actually saved from it and I wanted to see if it actually worked. So here's a perfect example of why it's just easy to have one of these around and test it. And it does work. And that's what that little chip inside there is for. This is actually a slow color changing LED. It will sit here and cycle through and the little lithium ion battery, even though it doesn't give out that much amperage for it, is safe to power this and it gives enough power that it can cycle through all the colors and let that little chip inside there work. So if you ever see an LED like that, it has a little black thing on the side there, that's your little microchip and that controls the cycling through all the different colors that are built inside of this LED and it's still just a two pin package. Or also, you get little green LEDs. This one I got out of an old HP printer that I pulled apart. And I had no clue if it works. Not a very bright one. Would help if I keep the connection good. Not a very bright one, but it does show it does work. Now again, it's slightly warm to the touch, so don't leave these plugged in too long. Otherwise, you could risk burning out the lower voltage LEDs. Again, like the... Uh, greens, the reds, the yellows, the ambers. They're a lower voltage. You only need like I think like one and a half to two volts. So this is a three volt lithium ion battery inside here. It will eventually burn these up. So that's my little tip and trick for people who love to play with LEDs. So until next time, have fun.